In this video, we'll be learning about a new design pattern called MVC, or Model View Controller, which we use in iOS to properly organize our code. Using MVC design makes our code manageable and readable for other developers and ourselves. It also makes debugging much easier. Objects that we will work with will generally fall into one of these three camps. The model is what your application actually does. In our previous example, it was the MBF dog we also saw examples with the pirate assignment that included weapon, armor, and tile classes. It also can be a data source or even logic. Think about this as what the data is or the concepts behind your application. You can also think about this as the information behind what your user sees. For example, for Twitter, the tweet data would be part of the model, and in a game such as chess, the logic of the game would be in the model. The view is what the user sees. Many pre-made views that have been written by Apple start with UI. UI stands for User Interface, which we use for views. We use views to display what is in our model. Views give us flexibility to display information the way we'd like. For example, with the Twitter data, we can display this information in a multitude of different ways, and this is reflected in the tons of different Twitter shells we have available to us online. Finally, the controller, which is usually a view controller for us, is a great way of linking the two. The controller is responsible for accessing the model and communicating that information with the view. For example, our MBF view controller was responsible for making our image view display our model of our MBF dogs. Think of the controller as the message man. The key concept to take away is that the controller is responsible for communicating between the model and the view. As such, the model and the view should never ever communicate with each other. In other words, the controller is in charge of making our views display what is in our model. The model and the view should be completely independent and be able to move around freely. Why, you might ask? Well, we want our model and our view to be used in many, many applications. If we make another application, we would want to import our MBF dog with no issue. Also, as Apple has shown us, we can use view objects such as UI label in any application we choose. Notice that if we linked our model in our view, these components would not be modular. A Twitter client could not be used without delicately untangling its view elements. So we simply have three camps, with the model and the view being able to be moved around, which is what we call being modular.